In this video, I'm going to show you an actual working prototype of my continuously variable transmission. The concept was already presented in another video that I made some months ago. So here it is the CVT made of Lego. This is a slider meant to be manually adjusted for now because of simplicity. Uh, now it's centered, so this means the CVT is on neutral. Now if we slide this thing a little bit, we have displacement. And so the rod oscillates back and forth. This oscillation is transferred to the lever. It's connected to some gears and then to a ratchet. This ratchet works as a one-way bearing, as you can see. It allows motion in one way, it's free, and the other way it couples. Okay. So this uh, is now working. Mm, the displacement is somewhere in like 25% now to the speed of the output. Now let's increase the displacement by sliding this thing even more. Now it's on maximum. Okay, the speed is roughly the same as before. However, look at the lever, the amplitude of the oscillation is much bigger, therefore the rotational speed is much bigger. You can slide it wherever you want, therefore get whatever ratio you want and there are only minor friction losses and some losses in the ratchet therefore this is very efficient okay now that I've already showed you the basic principle uh, this second part of the video is somehow irrelevant um, but uh, I will show you anyway uh, the reason is that I used a manual slider um, in this concept and this is not practical at all because obviously in a CVT you need to be able to slide the input and vary the displacement um, at any moment you like which is while the input is rotating and for that you need an automatic system in the 3D concept I used a hydraulic system which is a hydraulic piston inside the wheel uh, and uh, the piston is driven through a hydraulic rotary union however since that is impossible to make from lego pieces um, I created a different system using a differential driven by two motor inputs and by adjusting the phase between the motors as you can see we can vary the distance from the blue axis where you detach the rod okay so the distance from that blue axis to the uh, main rotation axis now the phase difference is zero therefore it's uh, nearly centered okay so the blue pin does not oscillate now we have a phase difference and the blue pin is shifted away from the center by increasing the phase even more we get it even far away now this can be easily done automatic using the computer brick that controls the motor uh, basically uh, the second motor follows the first motor uh, plus or minus the phase difference that you tell it to be so with this lever that I have I just tell what the phase difference should be therefore I can adjust this radius uh, or amplitude of oscillation 
uh, while the input is rotating okay. so this system is is not practical either but uh, it's meant to show you that it can be done to make it practical actually I would need a coaxial component however I don't have such a component in my LEGO kit um, this is the Robolab program that the brick is running so basically it reads my lever and it commands the two motors thanks for watching